Hi Iris. Monday. With the four of cups. Look, four of cups does have something around, which could be nice, prosperous, loving, um, maybe lucrative. Could be opportunity like that. Maybe not. You don't want to see it right now. You don't want to make decision right now. What does it mean for you? That what you have around you, you don't want to look at. You don't want to judge today. You don't want to say anything about it. Look, three cups are standing straight and it says that that what you have right now for you is good enough. Maybe you just don't feel like jump around excited about new opportunity or whatever that is around. You just don't feel like you will maybe do it tomorrow, day after tomorrow, some other day, but not today. Maybe you just don't feel like that, feeling lazy, feeling sickish, you know, not feeling like, you know, react. You don't want to react. You want to be passive today. Just to take your time. From tomorrow, okay, it's fine. Day after tomorrow, doesn't matter. But not today. That is very important. Not today. Yeah, not today. <laughs> Just confirmation with two of swords. You don't want to see anything which is around. You don't want to react because you don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it look lucrative? Is it, is it suitable for you? Will you like it or not? You want to take some time for you. At this point, in fact, you pretend like, like you don't even see it. This is pretending, okay? This isn't like you don't see it. Yeah, you are aware, you were aware of that, what you have around you. Energy is outer. Four of four of cups is outer energy. And it says that you have awareness about that what is on offer, that what you have available around you. You do have awareness about the whole situation around you. That is established with four of cups out there. But you will pretend. Like, I don't know, I don't see it, I'm not going to think about that, I'm not going to look at it right now. I will not. I will nothing. <laughs> In that sense, Two of Swords says, you will nothing today. It's just not time. I mean, Two of Swords, um, it's you being scared, fearing that something might be wrong with that what you have around you, with that offer, with that possibility, with that opportunity. Might be something wrong. Two of Swords doesn't see right way. Whatever that is out there is not right or it doesn't seem right right now. Could be bad. You see what I'm saying? I could get hurt if I say yes. I could get hurt if I say no. Better say nothing today. So from tomorrow when I know for sure, when I see clearly, then I will say yes or no. You see what I'm saying? You don't see good answer. Neither yes or no is a good answer for you today. So you'd rather pretend that you see nothing. So once you see clearly, you understand clearly, when things are known and understood, then you can say, yes, I want or no, I don't want, but not today. Absolutely no answer today. You will pretend that you don't see. You are not reacting, definitely. You are even, as I said, a bit scared to say yes or no on this day here on the Monday. Hi Taurus, so Monday, with the Nine of Pentacles, that's achievement, some money may be received, something which you deserve, this is your achievement, you showing yourself as an achiever, it's something you got on this day, definitely maybe something material, maybe you bought something, also could indicate buying something luxurious, but something which you want to show off with, you see what I'm saying, this is maybe quite substantial amount of money which you have on your account today you've done your job you completed your project and you got money on your account could also be something like that but anyhow that's your achievement you standing proud with that what you have with that what you bought for yourself with how you look today with the uh, Whatever that your achievement is, but you were achiever in that how you show yourself today with Ace of Wands. Okay, this achievement perhaps means a lot for you. This is new opportunity perhaps somehow connected this new opportunity which opens up for you related to this achievement which you are having on this day. Like now that you have this money on your account, you can now 
open your own business, you can buy something, you can do something with that. You see what I'm saying? Opportunity opens up. Opportunity opens up with some project which you have completed successfully. Now that you have done this successfully and you are visible, you are admired, everybody can see what you have done, how you have done it. Now you can think about something more prosperous, about your business, about career, which is very prosperous right now, based on that, what you have achieved today maybe you proved that you can do so much or so but you were standing proud with some sort of achievement or money on your account or something which you bought for yourself okay maybe something luxurious as well but still that what you have out there opens up new opportunity for you this opportunity is based on that what you have what you have achieved today or what you have achieved last week but this what you have right now is a um, reason for you to plan something new something prosperous this new career this new job this not something okay you are planning now just because you have something to count on to work with or so in that sense, this Monday, very lovely prosperity, okay, all, all over. I mean, achievements and prosperity. Beautiful Monday for you, Taurus. Hi, Gemini. Monday, the 7th of October, 2024. So, Monday, the 7th of October for you, Gemini, with the Four of Cups. I think Aries did have the same thing on Monday. It's offer with six of swords, some sort of offer which you uh, didn't feel like react immediately. You know, it, it is something you acknowledged, it was around you, perhaps as some offer, maybe friendship, maybe love, maybe offer for. I don't know, employment or could be any sort of situation around you, which kind of suddenly appeared, but you didn't want to react. That is the all about with Four of Cups. Now, could be many different reasons why you don't want to, why you don't want to react. There is opportunity, there's offer and you don't want to react. Maybe you don't feel well, maybe you just lazy for the day, you know, and you don't feel like you don't have energy, don't have power to, wow, to to be excited or something. Maybe you just couldn't see truly for what it is, okay? Maybe it just did seem like uh, unbelievable. Or maybe you thought that you deserve better. It's not good enough and you didn't want to say anything. You don't want to offend, but you don't want to take it. You will give it a couple of days and then you will react. You will say what you think. You will say, uh, you will react. Um, but not now, later on. I mean, you feel good on this day because you do have something on offer. You will not react. This is slow-moving energy. Six of Swords moves slowly. You will have visibility. You will have decision. You will react. You will know you like it or you don't like it. I think that the, the major problem with Four of Cups because you don't know if you really like it or not. Okay, is it good for you? Is it suitable for you? Is it really prosperous or something? Is it really loving? You just don't know. You couldn't see it immediately. It wasn't clear immediately. And that's why you are delaying. And this is, I really believe, delay. You feel good because you do have Something is on offer, something is possible, but you will move very slowly. You will not react immediately. This is very quiet energy. It's not in the troubled waters anymore. Smooth, shallow waters, but very quiet. Okay, there's no reaction yet. You will you will have your decision, you will be on another side, you will be on the solid ground perhaps very soon, but for now you are just preparing yourself, okay, not reacting, not giving your opinion, not giving your judgment, not giving your decision until you know for sure, until you get yourself to another side. You have to have solid ground underneath your feet and, and that's it. I mean, until then, you will slowly move, you will keep it around you, but you will not react, you will not give your final answer until you've got your solidity, certainty, understanding or so. Till then, you will, you know, just keep it around, keep it available as long as you need to. Anyway, that's your Monday. Hi, Cancer. 
Monday. With Knight of Swords, Knight brings change, and this one is bringing one kind of suddenly, unexpectedly, just now urges you to do something. This is urgent. And now on Monday, perhaps early morning, something comes, telephone rings, or somebody tells you from work, from somewhere, urges you, you have to do something immediately, you have to attend it, you have to respond, you have to respond, okay, immediately. This is talking, communicating, responding, but it's urgent and now. Also doing, but it's always now immediately. Suddenly came information, changed the situation, always changes the situation. Like you knew, now on Monday you're supposed to do so and so, but this one came and it changes in a second. You know, you have to immediately attend something. Go do that or something. Maybe you are urging yourself. Maybe you changed your mind and you're urging yourself to attend something immediately. Otherwise, you will lose. You will something. Very fast moving energy. Paid with a two of pentacles. Could be that you need to buy something. There is like something discounted out there and you want to buy it and the discount will last only for one day and you are rushing now. Immediately today you have to buy it because if you don't buy it today you will have to pay much bigger price. Something like that. Straightforward <laughs> with these two. But anyway, it doesn't need to be buying. Could be paying urgently some bill on Monday came and you have to pay it immediately now. You neglected it for some reason or you didn't receive it or it was misplaced. Now comes to your mind or comes to your attention. You have to attend it immediately. You have to pay it. Could be paying the bill. Could be, look, could be just decision which you need to make. Okay, and urgently, again, these are two situations um, existing parallel okay ongoing situation but they cannot stay like that one has to go one has to stay whichever now perhaps for you to decide on this day and perhaps on this day you have to decide you wouldn't perhaps you knew about this kind of situation where you have to make decision but you were not prepared to do immediately you thought okay with time something will prevail i will see i will know with time and now today on monday you have to make decision now immediately that's urgent that's compulsory decision has to be made could also be something like that but you see what i'm saying something urges you to pay the bill to buy something to make decision this is suddenly very fast moving energy now make decision now go buy it otherwise you're gonna pay big price something now immediately make decision on this day so that's your monday Hi Leo, Monday with the Fool. Exciting energy, childlike energy, zero point. In general, you know, uh, just your approach towards your future, feeling yourself ready to make big change. You know, know what kind of change, what is going to feel that new life which you would like to have, or which you are expecting to have, or which you are certain you will have. You don't know. You don't even want to know. You, that, that is not part of this energy. This is just excitement. Oh, it's going to be great. This future, this something, this project, you know, feeling ready to make that big change. It's paid with three of swords. <laughs> Look, this just means that it's long overdue, that you, that you waited for a very long time to get yourself to this point. But the major arcana is out there. This energy cannot overpower it. That's why I'm saying it's just feeling that it's long overdue. You, you, you thought that you're going to have this opportunity, this change, long time ago. But something was offensive, disappointing, heartbreaking. It took far too long to get yourself to this suspicious position where you can, you can make something else for your life, something different, something much different, something exciting. So in that sense, I really believe this day is all about your readiness to make this big change. And perhaps this change is possible right now, being the Three of Swords talks about long overdue change, okay? You waited, you wanted, you pushed for that, you worked for that. It didn't happen till now. 
I think it's only that these three swords are just about you waiting for far too long for this opportunity, for this possibility, which is finally happening, or it could finally happen. The fool's energy is just you feeling yourself, now I'm ready, now I can go for it, now I can do it, in that sense. Perhaps you worked for a long time to get yourself to this point. Anyway, that's your Monday. Hi, Virgo. So, Monday. With the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is secretive, indecisive, definitely some, some, something you supposed to see, some decision you're supposed to make, but you are afraid. You've got some options. Two of Swords talks about options which you are having, but neither of these options seems good to you. It's, it's going to fork on the road and there's dark road and another dark road and you don't know and you're scared to go either ways. Nothing promising, nothing bright, nothing good that you can see now. That's why you don't want to see none of it because it's not good. Neither way is good. Could be just secretive energy. You have to keep quiet. You have to keep secret. You cannot say it. Might be also something like that could very well be something like that because you do have a wish card with you something which you were wishing for something which supposed to happen some celebration maybe maybe you were buying something nine of cups often is emotional fulfillment with um, some material stuff you always wanted to buy this dress you wanted to buy this car and you are keeping it secret okay you will have it you will buy it at the end of the month at the beginning of the month but you're not gonna tell you will keep it secret and it's not easy okay for you to keep secret perhaps could be something like that now look it could be that you were having on your mind as I said something material this is something to have which you would really love to have but you don't know how to get it how to buy it okay what to do to have it somehow eludes you all the time okay you work towards that you're trying this way another way and it doesn't work and you don't know what to do anymore to buy to have that what you really want to have another thing also could be about your diet, maybe. Maybe you are overweight right now. Often Nine of Cups talks about being overweight. Now you have to take care about your diet. You have to take care about what you put into your body. You don't want to talk about that. This is not for public debate. Okay, am I overweight or not? What am I supposed to do? You're not going to bring it up. But you were perhaps thinking about that. That you have to cut on, I don't know, carbos or something. Or you have to go or and and exercise you see what i'm saying you don't know yet and you are not talking about that but could very well be that you are noticing yourself that you are overweight and you would like to lose you have to do it but when should you do it this or that way how to in that sense could also be situation here on monday hi libra monday with three of pentacles Lovely Three of Pentacles talks about practically establishing something, establishing new business, doing some craft, reconstructing something around your home, decorating your home, having this new group of people which you like working with. Enjoyable energy, definitely. Paired with the sun, look, could very well be any of it. With the sun energy, just confirms excitement about it, okay? Sun is joy, it's children, it's a new project, it's a new development, and look, this tree of pentacles is a new development. All the positive attributes which are standing for this tree of pentacles are supported by the sun energy. Sun is vitality, happiness, joy, if it's a new project, you've got huge expectations out of that project, that what you have started, that what you are doing, that business which you have registered just now. Oh, we've got massive expectations out of it. That will bring you money with the time. Oh, you will work with that and that will grow, that will develop. You see what I'm saying? Will be meaningful for your future. This will be meaningful for your future because the sun says it will grow, it will develop, it will be bigger and more 
more prosperous and magical at the end of the day? In that sense, if it's a new group of people, still this is group of people you will have lots of fun with, you will go on vacation with, you will do some hobby with, you'll do some practical stuff with, you will have friends for the rest of your life. Could be something like that as well. Um, if you are reconstructing something around your home, okay, this could be reconstruction, not big reconstruction. It says it's going to be beautiful. You're going to enjoy it. You were making your abode beautiful this time. Just like that. Very practical, enjoyable energy for you here on Monday. Doing something, enjoying it enormously on this day. Even if it's something serious, beginning some business, Still joy, expectations, huge prospect for that. What you have started today could also mean something like that. Anyway, lovely Monday for you, Libra. Hi, Scorpio. Monday with Page of Cups. Child, childlike energy, massive expectations, believing in miracles, <laughs> um, news, could also mean some news, something romantic. This is news which made you happy, which lift up your spirit. You believe now in your future, in your magical future, beautiful opportunities. You see what I'm saying? Something brought that feeling towards you. Feeling towards another, okay? Maybe somebody invited you on a date and you are so excited about future for that relationship. You don't even know that person, but you are so optimistic, being very optimistic. Um, a bit volatile energy, surely. Um, paired with the chariot. And now chariot gives it a bit uh, of a substance because uh, we don't see with, with the page of cups there is not much of a substance, okay? It's mostly feelings, teenagers' energy, childlike energy, believing in miracles all my life, all my business. It's going to be so, so, and so. But now the chariot brings certainty in it, okay? Something which is sure, this is, um, this is your ability, okay, to go after some of your goals, relationship, person, um, the business, career, job, um, whatever that is your goal, whatever that you prepared yourself for, okay? Because this energy is well trained, well prepared to win, to get it, okay? There is some purpose, there is something which you want to get and you know exactly everything, how you're going to get it, what you need to know, what you need to do to get it. You see what I'm saying? So that goal which you are having on your mind, that what you want to achieve, that what you want to win, okay, you can do it easily. You are well trained, well prepared, well learned for that purpose. This is competitor now, whether that you need to race and you practice every day to run, really, or your goal is something else, something which is your career, and you needed some knowledge, you need to have experience, you see what I'm saying? But you've got it all, chariot has got it all now, you are ready, okay? And energy is within you, so that's why I'm saying, um, it gives a bit of a substance, okay, to this energy of Page of Cups, to this optimism, these expectations, really. That goal of yours is really something magical, is really something big, okay? And you can. Obviously, you are well trained. You know how you can achieve it. Nothing, nothing stands on your way. So this optimism perhaps is with good reason, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, very lovely Monday. In fact, it seems that you really have something exceptional in front of yourself, that you are so optimistic about it because you prepared yourself for it. You knew what you're supposed to do and you were preparing yourself. You trained yourself. You learned what you needed to learn and now you are ready, waiting for the right moment to move towards it. In that sense, I believe this Monday, very lovely, in fact. Hi, Sagittarius. Monday. With the sun. Beautiful sun. Good health, vitality joy, children, um, new project, something which enlighten your life. This project, this what I start now, is my miracle. It's going to mean a lot for my life, for another. So many years, we will grow, we will develop. You see what I'm saying? 
the sun energy it's bright and shiny right now it's exciting right now it's not that you will see much in depth much in the future but expectations are massive okay joy for that what you have on this day is enormous now whatever that is whether that is about your children about your um, business career about your life about your health it's all so positive so exciting on this day so joyful on this day it's paired with a page of pentacles now for some of you who were at age to go to i don't know some educational institution to i don't know university or to enroll to some course okay you were accepted on this day you are celebrating you're so happy you will be doctor one day you will be engineer one day this is just the beginning or right? you are now first year at university or in i don't know some school or um, some course and you were so looking forward to that what you're gonna learn you base your future on that what you're supposed to learn on that skill which you're supposed to have in that sense this page of pentacles energy within you youthful energy believing in something having something in your hands this will be my future i just need to know how to this will be my future this one is seeing future dedicated to that one thing which is supposed to learn, which is supposed to do. That is my future. Could be just a starting new business, okay? Could also mean something like that. But this is about money, about future, about real deal, day-to-day -day life for you. But this is long-term plans. This isn't just for today or this week. This energy today, this Monday, supposed to grow with time, supposed to be present in your life for long time okay this knowledge which you're supposed to acquire per perhaps it will take time for you to get that degree to have that skill okay this is still process to learn to know but you are loving it oh this is my future this will bring me money i will open my business as soon as i know how to do this i'll open my business i will fix course i will something which i learned now <laughs> you see what i'm saying thinking about future prosperous future with that what you are learning how to okay this is learning process now but you are dedicated because a big future bright future in front of you with just that here on monday very important very lovely energy hi capricorn monday three of wands your new endeavor new plans announcement of some sort okay something which you have decided about you secured one idea you have said i will travel okay i will open my own business i'll change my career i'll do this i'll do that i will something that is your three of wands and it's outer energy and it's public you were perhaps waiting for some sort of response you don't know exactly when you're going to begin to do because the three of wands is the, um, only that basic idea, only that one decision uh, that you have secured, still lots to support, okay, to bring documents, to, to um, work with that, still a lot to do to make it happen and you are still not sure with the moon energy you don't know exactly when you're gonna start operating when you're gonna start doing it decision is there you're not gonna give up this is something you were excited about maybe you need to learn something maybe you depend on other people because this energy is also waiting waiting for maybe some visa for some documents for something you know for some response from people maybe you need to do something with other people and you are waiting for the response but it's 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 waiting okay you only know what you are after what you surely want to do okay that is not that you're not gonna give up on but when how kind of suddenly you see complexity this is not small thing this is not very this is not straightforward thing okay this is kind of those more complex more complicated situations okay and uh, um, perhaps you can't see exactly today all details perhaps it doesn't depend on you as well but yeah the moon energy is within you and you don't know exactly when how what people gonna say what reaction going to be when you will manage how you gonna manage a bit of a complexity here on a monday with this endeavor which you were ready to begin with 
Hey Aquarius. So Monday with the devil. Devil isn't pleasant energy. Always talk about some excess of some sort, something which you are enjoying and you're not supposed to enjoy. You know, some lies, some manipulations, some um, overly materialistic tendencies. Uh, let me pair it in Fred, in fact. With the, yeah, with the Knight of Swords. Oh, this is overreacting okay knight of souls is fast moving energy ignorant towards anything else oblivious for everything else but that one thing like you only care about that what is for you that what you need that what you want today and you are urging yourself to do it now immediately and nothing else matter but really nothing else no people no family no friends nothing nothing but you that what you need for yourself only that being a bit selfish this energy now could be that is something so urgent that you cannot pay attention to other people but look this isn't force of nature this is a you okay being out there I will do it this way or another my way or highway you see what I'm saying this is insisting that you must knight of swords is that sort of energy urges you to do something now immediately okay don't care about others don't worry about others don't even look at them that what you want that what you need the devil is whispering in your ear that what you want just go for that don't worry you'll step on that nah who cares you see what i'm saying who cares about anything else but that what you want what urges you to do something now immediately kind of obsession um, I told you selfishness, but now obsession. You see where I'm heading. It's too much of that what you want, that what is good for you, and only that. I mean, nothing else matters but that what you want, what you are for some reason urging yourself to do. Maybe something is really urgent. Okay, maybe it's not selfishness. Maybe it's not obsession. But it's really urgent. If you don't do it today, I mean, you're going to suffer big loss. Or you cannot do it later. There is no way for you to do it tomorrow. It's a due date. It's today. It's last day. Okay, of that, I don't know, of something. And if you don't do it, you lost it. And that's why you are rushing to do it, to go and buy it. And you don't care about other people, about anything else, but that what you need, because you cannot lose this chance today. Very strange. Hey, this too. A bit funny. Monday. Hi, Pisces. So, Monday, the 7th of October, for you, Pisces, with Eight of Pentacles. No, Eight of Pentacles is diligent energy. It's your um, profession, your skill work, your studies, you know, you are dedicating yourself to that job and you will perpetuate, you will continue until you finish. N nothing that you uh, are confused about with this energy normally says you are having your routine, okay? You just bow your head down and you do it, and you do, and you finish at the end of the day. That's how you make your money, that's how you clean your house, <laughs> that's how you do your house chores. You see what I'm saying? Studying, passing exams, that sort of energy often uh, uh, indicated as um, profession. No paired with four of pentacles talks about a job done and money earned perhaps it's not big money or art four of pentacles doesn't talk about big income but something very basic perhaps working on that basic to make something bigger to make something more for your future to make some changes which will you know take you further than this basic this essential energy because this is really essential rock solid all right you achieved something you received some money could be just deposit for your job you signed some contract or you agreed to do some project for somebody out there. You've got clients. You see what I'm saying? And you got deposit paid on your account. This is just deposit. Rest of the money, rest of the payment will follow once you complete this project. Could very well be something like that. But we are talking working and having something out of that work, which is basic. 
very basic solid you are re receiving it on the regular base you are paying your bills Un unmistakable okay this is unmistakable you are holding on to it strongly you are not losing it you've got your independence you are paying your bills but you are perhaps working hard for it but yeah we do have your profession your work and results solid results but these results are not making you happy okay this is something which you need to sustain yourself to pay your bills this is basic and it never really brings you know happiness <laughs> this this um this amount of money is not taking you to vacation but keeps you independent okay so so far so good this monday says so far so good whether that you or comes strongly now i don't know um, when it comes like this usually means that you are finally having your independence you finally managed to get to that point okay that's your first step that's your, that's your rock solid platform and you will continue to develop yourself or you are working to move on from that point you know to make some more out of that that job that profession usually it comes like this okay it actually means some sort of change just happened or it's about to happen you are working towards change or you just achieved that or so in that sense this monday but still it's your profession your work nothing exciting Anyway, your Monday. So, 